Do you think that outstanding monuments can be dedicated only to famous historical personalities and cultural figures? There are an incredible number of original monuments in the world, the meaning of some of them can only be guessed. Behind the futuristic and abstract figures of bronze and steel are hidden the memory of the achievements of great musicians and politicians, appeals to pay attention to global problems of humanity, and reflect on the mortality of existence. Unique creations of sculptors today can be seen not only in crowded squares. To touch some of them you have to get to remote areas of lifeless desert and find the most hidden corners of sparsely populated parks. Each amazing monument has its own secret. Touching one of them can bring happiness, and the other, the realization of cherished desires. Today we are going to talk about the most unusual monuments and sculptures in the world. You're on the Karo Show channel. Enjoy watching. In Chicago, on the territory of Millennium Park, there is one of the most unusual sculptures in the world, Cloud Gate. Its author is the famous Indian sculptor, Anish Kapoor. According to the author's idea, the unusual sculpture should imitate a huge mercury drop that has fallen to the surface of the earth. The original mirror sculpture resembles a huge bean grain, for which it received the unofficial name the bean from the locals. The sculpture is remarkable for its impressive scale. Its mirror surface effectively reflects the surrounding city landscapes. Its surface was polished to a mirror-like smoothness, thanks to which the appearance of the sculpture became simply inimitable. One of the main features of the sculpture is a large arch, under which you can freely go and see your reflection in the mirror surface. Since its opening, the original monument has been very popular, with both citizens and visitors to Chicago. There are countless Buddha statues around the world, but there is one that has gained worldwide fame. This is the Big Buddha in Leshen, Sichuan Province, China. A giant stone sculpture carved into the rock face of Mount Lingyunshan, Today this attraction is included in the UNESCO World Heritage List. The Big Buddha was built during the Tang Dynasty. Work on its construction began in 713 and lasted 90 years. Since then the statue has risen as a symbol of an unbroken spirit and true faith, attracting the attention of not only curious tourists but also the spiritual followers of Buddhism. The face of the Buddha is turned to the sacred Mount Himishan, located opposite, and he himself sits flush with Mount Lingyunshan, and his feet rest on the river. The dimensions of the giant are amazing. Its height is 71 meters, and its shoulder span is almost 30 meters. Artist Robin White from Staffordshire, Britain, creates incredible sculptures of fairies using stainless metal wire that are striking in their sophistication and airiness. The author sees them as light and graceful girls with long hair, wings and clothes, that are often decorated with flowers and leaves. The artist does not hide the process of his creation, but tells about it on his website. At the very beginning of the creation of the work, a drawing is made and a reliable frame of dense wire is prepared. Subsequently, the specialist begins to produce the most interesting, to create a body for the character using a thin wire. Wings are formed from chain-link mesh. An obligatory component of a fairy is a heart made of stone, which fits into her insides, with an engraving of the author's real inscription. Diminish and Ascend is a sculptural installation by artist David McCracken that from certain angles looks like a never-ending staircase. It is located in Furaway, Australia, between Bondi and Tamarama beaches near Sydney. Its creator David McCracken specializes in sculptures that create the illusion of deception. In this case, we see an endless staircase. It creates an optical illusion that if you look at it from a certain angle, it seems that the staircase leads directly to heaven, as if the boundaries of this staircase go far beyond the sky. In fact, if you get close to it, it becomes clear that it is set on a small cliff and designed in such a way that the effect of infinity is maximum. At night, due to the unique illumination, it seems that the steps lead directly to the stars. Truth is Beauty Sculpture by American artist Marco Cochrane. The sculpture depicts an abstract female figure, rising on her toes and spreading her arms to the sides. The peculiarity of this sculpture is that its perception and mood changes with the weather. But it is always beautiful, because it is always real. The original sculpture first appeared in Nevada at the Burning Man Festival in 2013 before moving to a permanent location at the San Leandro Tech Campus near San Francisco. Truth is beauty symbolizes the beauty, strength, and empathy of women. Mammon is a huge, steel sculpture of a spider that graces the Canadian capital of Ottawa. The three-dimensional sculpture, made of bronze, marble, and stainless steel, is the work of the eminent American sculptor and painter Louise Bourgeois. It is noteworthy that during the design of Mammon, Louise Bourgeois was 95 years old, the sculptural composition appeared in London's Tate Modern Gallery in May 2000. 
The sculpture remained at the exhibition in the museum until December 2000. And during this time, millions of tourists got acquainted with this work of modern art. The sculpture, beloved by both the residents of London and visitors to the British capital, returned to the Tate Modern in 2004. Today, the huge spider is located at the entrance to the National Gallery of Canada, which is located in Ottawa. The gallery bought the Louise Bourgeois sculpture for $3.2 million in 2005. It would seem, what is unusual here? There are a lot of sculptures and monuments in the world dedicated to these huge and extremely intelligent animals. However, the highlight of the Warsaw and Nastodemana sculpture is that the elephant stands on its own trunk and its body seems to be floating in the air. In this way, the author of the sculpture embodied scientific calculations, stating that at a distance of about 18,000 kilometers from the Earth, a medium-sized elephant could balance on its own trunk. The author of the sculpture is the French artist Daniel Furman. Paige Bradley's Sculpture Expansion, the author of which was an American woman sculptor, managed to gain fame for herself as one of the most outstanding and unusual works of modern art. The sculpture is made of bronze. A girl without clothes sitting in a sculpture in a lotus position and immersed in meditation is overwhelmed with internal energy. This force is closely within the framework of the physical body, and it breaks out through the cracks in the girl's skin with a living warm light. This extraordinary sculpture symbolizes the infinity of human possibilities. The sculptor managed to express such an abstract idea with amazing grace and brevity. The sculpture Ali and Nino, installed on the seafront of Batumi, has become a symbol of love that can overcome boundaries and prejudices. The mobile installation embodies the idea of the magnetic attraction of a man and a woman and their unity despite life's difficulties. Two figures seven meters high are made of metal plates with gaps, which allows them to merge into one and then separate and continue on their way alone. With the onset of dusk, the mesmerizing action begins daily at 7 p.m. Multicolored neon lighting is turned on, creating spectacular variations of highlights and shadows on the installation and the sea surface. The movement cycle lasts 10 minutes. In the daytime, the frozen statues of a man and a woman become translucent against the sky. The author of the project is a native of Thilisi. For some time, Tamara Pesitanza lived in Italy and then moved to America, where she now works and creates new artistic creations. The Kelpie sculptures are horsehead sculptures located next to the Karen River, on the grounds of the Helix Park, on the shores of the Fourth Clyde Bay near the city of Falkirk, Scotland. The sculptures were created by Scottish sculptor Andy Scott and were completed in October 2013. They were opened to the public in April 2014. The sculptures are two majestic 30-foot metal-framed horse busts, one of them neighs, tensely arching his long neck. The second looks in front of him in a relaxed manner, through half-closed eyelids. The construction took more than 600 tons of sheet steel, which is covered with a frame containing 10,000 fasteners, so that the sculptures resemble the heads of real horses as much as possible. This is the largest horse sculpture in the world. Its installation cost $8 million. The 30-meter sculptures are conceived as a reminder of the important role of horses in the history of Scotland. At night, the sculptures are illuminated with colorful lights, both from the outside and inside, enhancing the beauty of the composition. Which statue did you like from this video? Share your opinion in the comments. Also, don't forget to press on the like button and watch our previous videos. Goodbye.